this in your mind a valid church or is it a scary cult? You know, we can debate that point, but um, there's only one opinion that matters and that's the IRS. In 1972, it lost its tax exemption for the Church of Scientology of California. This Church of Scientology of California has been quietly laid to rest and disposed of. It's Church of Scientology International that they now call the Mother Church. This is all corporate shenanigans, smoke and mirrors. This is what David Miscavige won't tell you. The Church of Scientology of California was too dirty, too full of financial irregularities for the IRS to give tax exemption. This new concoction, Church of Scientology International, was a new entity that got tax exemption. Church of Scientology of California was quietly disposed of without sorrow. In 2002, it vanished off the face of the earth. Its bank accounts moved. The Church of Scientology demonized the IRS, blaming Nazis and psychiatry and the evil of the CIA. <laughs> Rather than admit that it was shady and evil and corrupt, a money-grabbing entity, it blamed the IRS. The IRS were the criminals. This is how Scientology spun it. And I remember event after event where they demonized the IRS as persecuting religion. The IRS was this, that, and the other. And guess what? <laughs> Overnight, as soon as the IRS granted tax exemption from being this evil, sociopathic, bad, criminal government agency, the IRS could be petted. It was a good guy after all. The IRS one day was a suppressive person or suppressive group, and the next day it was, ah, they're good buddies of ours. Why? because the IRS gave them tax exemption. The IRS's annual budget could not withstand the 2,500 lawsuits that Scientology Inc. deviously and diabolically got one little Scientologist out in Wichita, Kansas, one little Scientologist out in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and Rhode Island, and Michigan. In Every single state in 2,500 locations, lawsuits were filed against the IRS. Now, when you're in litigation, somebody sues, you have to defend. Can any government agency defend 2,500 malicious lawsuits from one entity? There's only one opinion that matters, and that's the IRS. Uh, it's, an, it's an organization very poorly equipped to make such distinctions. Uh, it's a bunch of lawyers and accountants. But it's the IRS that decides. And in 1993, the church owed a billion dollars in back taxes. It had decided not to pay taxes. And uh, they desperately needed a tax exemption or they would go out of business. We wouldn't be talking about the Church of Scientology if they had not gotten an IRS exemption. That's how they got tax exemption. Oh, you know what? We will withdraw every law. So just, just, just give us tax exemption. Well, yeah, that, you see, that, that implies they are religious. Why did they get tax exemption? Religious tax exemption, which they now wave the flag. We're a religion, we're a religion. The IRS said we're a religion. They were a religion because they manipulated and did a strategy to avoid the $1 billion they owed the IRS. All that was forgiven. And they got tax exemption. It was a deal 
It was an underhanded deal which Miscavige tries to take the glory of in the film The War Is Over. Eastern Standard Time. The IRS issued letters recognizing Scientology and every one of its organizations as fully tax exempt. The war David Miscavige described it as a war, and if that's the case, it's a war the IRS lost. So the IRS just said, I, we give up. We don't want to fight these lawsuits. We're going to give you tax-exempt status. Well, the, in effect, uncle. they did do that. And when the IRS makes that determination, then the protections of the First Amendment, Freedom of Religion Clause, come into play. And those are vast protections, and it's because of that protection that the church is able to operate today. And it has a billion dollars in liquid assets. Right. It has all sorts of properties all over Los Angeles, including our former studios right. in Los Feliz. Yeah. To what, how many properties in LA? 26 properties in Hollywood. Wow. More than $400 million worth of property. And that's just in Los Angeles, and this is a worldwide religion. Yeah. Money! So